Hey pipe smokers, Briarleaf00 here for another tobacco review. Today I am going to be reviewing Capstan Original Navy Cut. Okay, now since the tin does not have uh, a description of the blend, I'm going to go ahead and just use the description found on tobaccoreviews.com. Capstan Original Navy Cut, a medium to mild blend of carefully selected Virginia tobaccos with a natural aroma enhanced by a subtle flavor. This one is an air cured flake Virginia. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick look up close. Okay. Here's a look at the tin. Now let's take a peek inside and see what we've got. There you go. Let's um, take a little closer look at a flake. It has a very nice tin aroma. Sort of uh, sweet, sort of like a dark sweet scent out of the tin, as well as um, a scent reminiscent of black tea. Okay. Okay. Uh, before I get started, I should probably mention that uh, this is the McBaron production of this blend which was formerly uh, produced by Orlick and originally by Imperial Tobacco. Now the top note, uh, I, it's light, it's unobtrusive, um, but I have a hard time just putting my finger on exactly what the top note is uh, and discerning and, and sort of picking out the flavor of the top note uh, as opposed to the flavor of the uh, tobacco itself. So. Uh, it might be a little fruity. I'm, you know, I'm not really sure. I just have a very hard time isolating that flavor. But whatever it is, it's very subtle. It, um, it, all it does is is add a little bit of interest and a a tiny bit of flavor to uh, the natural Virginia flavors of this blend. And if any of you ha uh, have smoked this blend before, um, I know many people out there have enjoyed this one for quite a long time. If you've got any opinions or uh, ideas about what the top note is, pop on down in the comments and let me know. I'm interested to hear what you got to say about it. Now for the tasting notes, um, I'm going to start it off by saying this is a uh, fairly straightforward, um, uncomplicated Virginia blend. Um, it starts off with a malty sweetness, so definitely uh, even from the get-go. Uh, the uh, flavor here is definitely more on the deep end of the Virginia spectrum as opposed to the uh, brighter and lighter flavors uh, on the other end of it. Uh, I also get a, a discernible um, molasses-like sweetness as the, the bowl progresses. And also at the halfway point, uh, I, I begin to detect notes, uh, discernible notes of uh, lightly sweetened black tea. Um, this wouldn't be the first blend that I've noticed some uh, tea-like notes from, and I must say I, I enjoy them quite a bit. Uh, this one does not uh, necessarily progress a lot. Um, it's uh, not a complex blend. And uh, it generally retains its uh, good, solid flavor from the beginning uh, of the bowl to the end. Um, I will say that towards the bottom third, I get uh, the, the strength builds a little bit, the flavors intensify a little bit, and I start to get some toasty sort of brown bread type notes towards the end. Very pleasant. Um, and that's about it for the flavors. Um, really what, what I get from this blend are uh, simple yet uh, full-bodied um, dark Virginia flavors. And uh, while this one is not necessarily uh, complicated or complex, 
Um, there's enough flavor here to keep me interested from the beginning uh, to the end. And uh, this is definitely a blend uh, that I've enjoyed quite a bit since I've started smoking it. Um, this is very much a sort of meat and potatoes type blend, and I, I don't use that phrase to, uh, to denigrate the blend in any way. I think that's a very much a good thing um, because I don't always I don't always want to be uh, challenged by a tobacco. I don't always want to have to um, sit down and parse apart every little bit of it. Um, you know, I enjoy that. I mean, I enjoy that quite a bit. But there's always uh, times where I just want to take some really good tobacco and stuff it in a pipe and get on my way and go about my day and uh, be able to do so while enjoying a nice smoke. And this really fits the bill. Uh, for me when it comes uh, to that type of blend. Let's talk about uh, the smokeability. Um, that's another thing that's really great about this blend. Uh, this tin, uh, since this tobacco has only been available again to us here in the States for uh, less than half a year, um, the, the tin essentially has no age on it. Um, yet at the same time, it's very, very uh, smokable and easy on the palate. Um, I get very little fatigue and I get certainly get no, absolutely no tongue bite. Uh, so it's very, very high on the smokability scale. Um, the strength is solidly medium and it's not too strong that I can't enjoy during the day when I do generally prefer, uh, blends a little less, uh, high in nicotine. Okay. So... I think I've covered uh, most of the flavor uh, notes that I've got and hit on most of the points about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and let me give you uh, the final score for this one. I am going to rate Capstan Original Navy Cut as a 7.8 out of 10. And to put that number in perspective, I think that's a very, very high score for such a straightforward blend. Um, in fact, uh, I have a hard time seeing myself giving many more tobaccos, um, that are as straightforward as this one, uh, a much higher score than what I've given Capstan, uh, Blue. So, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this one to people who enjoy Virginia's, people who enjoy easy smoking, flake cut blends, and, uh, also for people who enjoy the deeper, uh, darker notes, um, Virginia notes, as opposed to the brighter ones. I think that about wraps it up. So 7.8 out of 10 for original Navy Cut Capstan Flake Tobacco. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Hope everybody's doing really well. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy, everybody.